Hi everybody, this is Databits. Thank you for joining me today. We've got two exciting products that we want to show you. These are vintage electronics, one of which is a GPX television cassette player and AM FM radio. And although those exist in other forms, I had never seen one that looked like this one. So I'm excited to show it to you. I've also got a Muzak system and it is used for music on hold. Well, it, at least it was at one time used for music on hold. It may not be used today because it is cassette based. So two of the products that we have to show you today have to do with cassettes. I'll see you at the end of the demonstration. So here we go. Here we have the TVP9. It's a GPX AM FM cassette television. It features a five inch black and white screen, an AM FM radio, a cassette recorder, as well as player with a built in microphone. Little tuning knob here on the side, band selectors, the uh, input selector, volume control, headphone jack, and tuning knob here on the side. What's interesting about this is the year that it was made. It looks very retro in the sense that uh, this may have been made in the 1980s, right? Kind of looks like it. It was actually made in the year 2000. So as of this making of this video, it is 18 years old. And strangely enough, everything works. Now, how did I have to get it to work? Well, this volume control was a little screwy. I had to actually take it apart pull this volume control out and, and lubricate it. It was just all dried up and cakey on the inside there. Then I had to replace the belt for the tape deck, which is not you know surprising. The biggest disappointment of this machine, even though it is really cool and sort of retro, is that it has a little tiny speaker inside. So it sounds like a clock radio from the 80s, actually. So let's go ahead and turn it around. I'll show you the, the, the features that are on the back. GPX was very proud of the date that this was made. You can see it's strapped right here on the back. Here's the jacks. Now, strangely enough, it has a video input jack here, line level video, composite video. It does not have an audio input jack. This jack over here is for an external antenna. This is where you connect your power and it also holds like a zillion batteries that you can use and you can use rechargeable batteries which is kind of nice but i'm sure would be an expensive proposition let's go ahead and take the battery cover off so you can see in there so yeah it uses like two four six eight ten c batteries to operate it it was really a pain to get it apart I, i'd love to take it apart again and show you the inside of it but uh, man that was a pain getting well it wasn't a pain getting it apart as much as it was getting it back together here's your uh, telescopic antenna still working there and then let's look at the top here and take a peek at the cassette functionality so we have uh, automatic level control recording we have record play rewind fast forward stop and pause even it does have automatic stop on playback but no automatic stop when you fast forward or rewind your tape. So let's demonstrate uh, this little booger and uh, show you all the cool stuff that it can do. So let's go ahead and put it on radio first. So there's AM radio and AM radio actually works. That's a common problem with some of these older machines is the AM radio stops working. Okay, FM is right here. Now, I live in a pretty rural area, so I might want to pull this antenna up. So, as you can hear, it works and it sounds like an AM radio, even on FM. All right, now let's demonstrate the television, which is actually kind of cool. The television is now on and I have a small camcorder connected to it weird thing that it does is when you have a video signal connected to it and you turn the volume up you hear this so i guess there's kind of a leak of video signal into the audio signal there which is strange now what i was going to do for this video is i was going to do an introduction and play it on the tv which i can show you here 
but uh, the TV just doesn't translate well over to my camera. But I can at least kind of show you what uh, what I was up to with my portable uh, Hi8 camcorder filming this. All right, let's go ahead and hover over the top of the player here so you can see the cassette deck. Pretty neat. I've got a, uh, a cassette in here. It's a vintage Maxell tape, and I recorded some royalty-free music on it because I'm going to demonstrate music for you twice in this video. So uh, let's see. Did we rewound it? Okay, yep, it's rewound. So I go ahead and hit play. Boy, these keys just feel ugh, very, very cheap and sleazy there. So it uh, looks like we are rolling in there. And our big powerful speaker is right there. Isn't that awesome? There's a grill on the other side as well, right there, but there is no speaker there. I guess I could add one, but. So there you have it. There's the uh, the sound quality of this unit. And I can go ahead and fast forward, hit play. And that first song is like 10 hours long. Our next item that is driven by the excitement of cassettes is this Muzak Music on Hold system. It's literally a metal box that uh, you would hang on a, on a wall. You can see that it's got the hangers there on the sides to hang it up. And I guess we'd probably go back in the IT room or the phone room of a particular company. And here on the side, we see some really interesting jacks. We have the, uh, we have a power indicator an output tone, output volume, a speaker switch, a 900, no, 600 ohm output, as well as an 8 ohm output, and our AC adapter, which is a 12 volt input there. Now, I can't tell you when this was made, couldn't find any information online about it, but uh, there are some interesting stickers here on the bottom, and it shows Premier Technologies and Made in the USA. So the cassette, uh, it, part is right here in the front and what I was surprised to learn is that this thing talks to you it actually walks you through the steps that you need to take and what it does is it's going to take a song off of this cassette and it's going to put it into its memory so apparently it has a digital memory so you put your cassette in it records the clip from the cassette into memory and then continues to loop it Now, in the case of our GPX radio, the sound quality was pretty cruddy, but that was just because it was made cheaply. This one outputs a cruddy sound quality because its audio feed goes into a phone system and it's been being designed to be heard over the phone. So they've limited the audio frequency or equalized it, compressed it, whatever you want to call it, so that it fits the audio of a telephone system. 
So I can kind of reiterate that by introducing a speaker. So I'm going to, well, I'll tell you what, you guys do it. Say the magic word and we're going to make a speaker appear. Ready? Get set. Say it. Well done, well done. There she is. All right, so let's go ahead and connect the speaker to one of the outputs on the side, and we'll kind of match what the speaker could potentially support, which would be 8 ohms. And one thing you'll notice is that the sound quality doesn't change much from the internal speaker to this little JVC bookshelf speaker, which actually has really decent sound quality. So let's go ahead and plug her in. We'll see what she sounds like. Now in this case, I can control the volume. And the tone. It's kind of loud too. So if Muzak hadn't compressed the sound quality to play over a telephone, this would make a nice little tape deck to sit and listen to your favorite song over and over on. But uh, unfortunately, any music you play on it is going to sound like it's coming through a telephone. It simply wouldn't be a proper DataBits video if we didn't pull the hood on this one to show you what's inside and what's making it tick. So I've already removed four tiny screws from the front and the back. That allows us to lift this part off and allows us to see inside of this very sophisticated piece of technology. So there's your tape deck with a uh, fully uh, solenoid controlled system Looks like we have a uh, analog devices chip there controlling everything. Or maybe it's this one right here, this EC67. So there's got to be some video memory, not video memory. There's got to be some memory in there for us to uh, record all of our audio on. Let's go ahead and swing it around. So here's the other side. There's our fantastic high quality speaker and some cobwebs and uh, that may be our memory right there that little guy right there might be where our song is stored during playback so let's see it operate with the hood off Well guys, that's going to conclude today's video. If you don't mind, leave a comment below and let me know one particular feature that you liked most about the Muzak and the GPX cassette systems. Also, use that subscribe button and please subscribe to this channel. It really helps me out when you do. And share this video with a friend. Also, 
if you see a video you really like sitting up here on the sides, go ahead and click it and watch it, and uh, it'll also add some awesomeness to your life, I promise. All right. Well, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.